Good morning, everybody. This is Mrs. Rivera here, principal of Joseph Case Junior High School with Backyard in Richmond, video number 49 on a Tuesday. Coming to you, as always, from my backyard uh, here in Swansea. Another nice morning, clouds and sun, warm, lots of birds chirping in the background, woodpeckers pounding away, and just overall another great spring morning. Start this video with a shout out of appreciation as we do all of our backyard enrichment videos. Last night we had a virtual school committee meeting where the Students Come First awards were given out for this year. Our recipient was uh, the very wonderful Miss Reese. Uh, one of the other recipients there was featured in our backyard enrichment video number 36, Mrs. Pam Alexander, child care teacher at the high school, which got me thinking about our own Miss Alexander, Miss Lindsay Alexander, a sixth grade special education teacher, and no one does it better than her. Um, she has a passion for education. She helps her kids in any way she can, whether the regular school day or distance learning. She's always doing uh, above and beyond, doing extra to make sure that her students are successful. She's always there for us at the school for anything that we need, um, and we appreciate her very much. For all you do for our students in our school, Ms. Alexander, uh, thank you for being great. We appreciate you. Uh, yeah, so yesterday was a fantastic weather day, um, busy day uh, work-wise, uh, but when the work was done, we began the second phase of our deck restoration, this time uh, the house deck. That needs some attention. It's tricky because you have to do it when it's not too sunny, uh, not going to rain, um, so the timing of it is, is difficult. You have to wait till later in the afternoon when the sun goes down, but as the afternoon wore on, we did uh, begin that project. A lot of bugs out here today. Um, so I was busy with that, and then after dinner, we had our Typical card game after the school committee meeting was over, become uh, one of our favorite things to do during this time of uh, staying home. Uh, so we enjoyed that. Um, when I was out the other morning, you see right above my head here is the suet feeder. And one morning I came out last week, a couple weeks ago, and the suet feeder was pulled up into the tree. I have to figure out what did that because that's very strange. It's never happened before in all the time that we've been here. I set up the game camera so to see if we could catch the thief. Uh, who was uh, pulling a suet feeder up in a tree and eating the suet. And uh, sure enough, the game cam did its job and we caught the thief. I thought that that would be an outstanding subject for today's backyard enrichment video. So uh, let's take a look at what we caught. This is the raccoon, Procyon lotor, a medium-sized mammal. It is easily recognizable with a bushy tail with alternating black and gray rings a black face mask outlined in white, and a distinctive humped posture. Raccoons can vary in weight from 12 to 36 pounds, with some exceptionally large individuals reaching 50 pounds. Most active during the early evening and at night, the raccoon travels widely over their territory in search of food. By day, raccoons den in hollow trees, rock crevices, other animal nests, or burrows. In mild weather, they often find protected resting spots on the ground. Where raccoons have adjusted to living in areas populated by people, they frequently den in attics, chimneys, and culverts. Raccoons are omnivores, eating both plant and animal matter. During spring and early summer, they feast on insects, aquatic animals, mice, and other small mammals, birds, and turtles. In late summer, fall, and winter, raccoons tend to consume more plant material, such as seeds, grains, and wild fruits. Raccoons living in suburban and urban areas often raid garbage cans and backyard gardens. The mating season of raccoons generally runs from January to March. Raccoons have a 63-day gestation period and will give birth to a litter of 3 to 7 cubs in April or May. Mother raccoons give birth in dens, typically located in a hollow tree, but they may also use brush piles, caves, culverts, woodchuck dens, barns, chimneys, attics, or similar structures. Cubs weigh about 2 ounces at birth, open their eyes at about 3 weeks, and are active by about 7 to 8 weeks of age. They are weaned by late summer and are independent of their mother after 20 weeks. They become more independent by late fall, but continue to den with the family group, especially during severe weather. Cubs disperse in early spring the following year at the age of 9 to 10 months. Raccoons can, tra can transmit disease to other wildlife, domestic animals, and occasionally people. Although there's no need for panic, at the sight of a raccoon, you should avoid contact with raccoons, their feces, and their den sites. Well, that is today's backyard enrichment video. I hope you enjoyed it. Very interesting. Turns out raccoons are very intelligent and will do anything they can uh, to try to find a food source, especially when they have cubs uh, in the den. Um, very interesting. 
Anyway, today's going to be a fantastic weather day. Get out there in the yard as uh, we've been doing. Get some exercise, have some fun. See if you can't learn something new in your backyard today. I will be back uh, with you tomorrow for a milestone edition, the 50th edition of the Backyard Enrichment video. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.